whatever is not found please listen carefully and if you're making notes that's a good note to make whatever is not found in the death of jesus in his burial in his resurrection and ascension to the right hand of god can never be found in god whatever is not found in the death of jesus in his burial in his resurrection and ascension to the right hand of god can never be found in god to define god the father you will have to look at what he did in christ that's how to know god the father what he did in christ if you want to know him in the old testament prophets you will only know him in the promises they gave concerning christ by the spirit of christ you will only know god's character in the old testament in the promises that the prophets gave concerning christ by the spirit of christ you cannot know him by everything you read because the bible has a progression of the revelation of god as a progressive revelation where people over the ages gradually came to know god and some of them said things in their error about what god never was for example job another one the children of israel even adam also had some impressions of god that were not wrong so you can also have a wrong impression of god and it was written in the bible especially when it is not rightly divided even prophet isaiah said i am he that killeth and maketh alive isaiah was wrong in that statement isaiah said i form the light and i create darkness isaiah was wrong in that statement but why was it written so that you will see how they progressively came to know god you will see how they progressively you will see their errors their mistakes and you will see how they travel their way to the revelation of god those things were left for us so that we will see the supremacy of the revelation of christ are you enjoying yourselves uh -huh. because you ought to interpret the old testament in the light of christ you ought to interpret the old testament in the light of christ so when we say he is a consuming fire are we talking about his wrath or his love his love now go back to matthew 3 11. i indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire so john says he will baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire you know john was the last old testament prophet so he was a prophet of the old testament matthew chapter 3 verse 12 whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire still john the baptist speaking now look at mark mark chapter 1 verse 8 mark did not use fire i indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the holy ghost so mark did not put fire matthew put fire luke three sixteen. john answered saying unto them i indeed baptize you with water but one mightier than i cometh, the largest of whose shoes i'm not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire so we have four accounts two have fire two don't have fire john 1 33 does not have fire and i knew him not but he that sent me to baptize with water the same said unto me upon whom thou shalt see the spirit descending and remaining on him the same is he which baptized with the holy ghost which baptized with the holy ghost which baptized with the holy ghost so john doesn't have fire so we have four accounts fire in matthew and luke 
no fire in mark and john so let's hear jesus acts chapter 1 verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which saith he you have heard of me next verse for john truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy ghost not many days hence jesus doesn't add the word fire just like jesus always did to the old testament text you know look up to me old testament text there was a time he didn't add some things that were added let's look at a few of those examples luke chapter 4 verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet isaiah so he read from isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written so let's go back to isaiah before we come and read what jesus wrote isaiah 61 verse 1 and 2 the spirit of the lord god is upon me please pay attention because i'm going to ask you a question because the lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound next verse to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn that's the prophecy of isaiah now we're going to see where jesus quoted that prophecy and you will see what jesus did luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised next verse to preach the acceptable year of the lord did you observe jesus did something to the prophecy what did jesus do he took out the day of vengeance just like he took out fire okay because the day of vengeance is not jesus's ministry jesus ministry does not have vengeance so jesus left out some words of the prophets because they cannot be his own fulfillment all right look at john chapter 3 verse 17 john tells us clearly the mission of jesus god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved so are we saved to exclude the word fire acts chapter 1 verse 5 for john truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy ghost not many days hence 